Hello guys, welcome back to Nostalgic Sensations. Vivian here. Thank you all so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I'm going to be reacting to a short history of slavery told by Candin, Candin, Candin Owens. I hope I pronounced the name right. If you know her, if you watch her podcasts or her YouTube videos, you know one thing is certain. She always says her truth without any filter. Personally, I have not really like watched so many of her videos but i've bumped into a couple of them on youtube and bro she is hot and no this video has no affiliation with her and she doesn't know me she doesn't know I exist which is very sad and <sighs> any which way uh so she is gonna be schooling us today on the short history of slavery and i'm super excited for this one because generally slavery is quite a touchy and sensitive topic and sometimes contains uh well i use the word controversial uh beliefs around it and whatnot and so i'll be watching out for those people in the comment section because in every in every comment section there is that one person who knows all the truth should i refer to them as a uh, historian whatever you call people who are very good with history but that person is not me so i'll be watching out for those people who knows all the facts and can easily debunk any factually incorrect data in here so i make sure i'm not misleading anybody but without further ado let's dive right into the video if you've gotten this far please don't forget to like subscribe comment support my small channel and help me get to 2000 subscribers thank you all so much and if you've always been here thank you so much i love you guys i love the support but without further ado let's dive right into the video and now for a brief history of slavery. Here's the first thing you need to know. Slavery was not invented by white people. It did not start in 1619 when the first slaves came to Jamestown. It existed before then. It did not start in 1492 when Columbus discovered the New World. In fact, when the intrepid explorer landed in the Bahamas, the native Taino tribe hoped that he would help them defeat their aggressive neighbors, the Caribs. The Caribs enslaved the Taino and, on occasion, served them for dinner. Slavery existed in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. The word slave actually comes from the Slavs of Eastern Europe. Millions of them, all white by the way, were captured and enslaved by Muslims in the 9th century and later by the Ottoman Turks. Slavery existed when the Roman Empire controlled the Mediterranean and most of Europe from the 1st through the 5th centuries. Slavery existed when Alexander the Great conquered Persia in the 4th century BC. It was so common that Aristotle simply considered it natural. The slave master model was just how the world operated in the great philosopher's day. Slavery existed during the time of the ancient Egyptians 5,000 years ago. As far back as we can go in human history, we find slavery. As renowned historian John Steele Gordon notes from Time Immemorial, slaves were a major item of commerce. As much as a third of the population of the ancient world was enslaved. Here's the second thing you need to know. White people were the first to formally put an end to slavery. In 1833, Britain was the first country in the history of the world to pass a slavery abolition act. They were quickly followed by France, who in 1848 abolished slavery in her many colonies. Then, of course, came the 13th Amendment in the United States Constitution. After centuries of human slavery, white men led the world in putting an end to the abhorrent practice. That includes the 300,000 Union soldiers, overwhelmingly white, who died during the Civil War. Now, am I saying that this makes white people better than anyone else? Of course not. My purpose here is to simply tell the truth, and the truth is that human history is complicated. No one, regardless of skin color, stands guiltless. Yet today, we are never told to consider the murderous Persian Empire or the cannibalism of indigenous tribes of North and South America or the heinous actions under the imperialistic Muslim, Chinese, Mongol, or Japanese empires, to name just a few. Instead, we're told that slavery is a white phenomenon. 
And like all persistent lies, this lie spawns a bunch of other lies. On social media, I come across extraordinary depictions about how Africans lived like pharaohs before Europeans came and laid waste to their paradise. I wish any of this were true, but it's not. It's a fantasy. The truth is that Africans were sold into slavery by other black Africans, and in many cases, sold for items as trivial as gin and mirrors. Whites didn't go into the interior and round up the natives. They waited on the coast for their black partners to bring them black bodies. The stark reality is that our lives had very little value to our ancestors. Here's the third thing you need to know. If you think slavery is a relic of the past, you're wrong. There are some 700,000 slaves in Africa today, right now. That's the lowest estimate that I could find. Other sources say there are many more. For context, that's almost twice as many slaves as were ever brought to the United States. Child soldiers, human trafficking, forced labor, these are the conditions that currently exist within the same sub-Saharan region where the transatlantic slave trade originated. African bodies are being sold today like they were sold then, and no, they are not being purchased by any country of white men. In fact, slavery, by any traditional definition, is exclusively practiced today within non-white countries. But we hear almost nothing about that. Just like we hear nothing about how slavery was universal until good people in Europe and America ended it two centuries ago. Why? Because our so-called leaders, black and white, wouldn't profit from it. Black victimhood is nothing if not profitable. It elects politicians and funds racial grievance groups. And if black Americans began to view themselves as partners in the American dream, if we embraced the patriotic spirit that holds all men are created equal, the patriotic spirit that is our real heritage, then the race hustlers would soon be out of business. And who wants that? I'm Candace Owens, author of Blackout for Prager University. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation. Wow, that was super inspiring and the shortest version of the history of slavery I've ever seen. And it holds so much weight regards the truth. Because in past time, you can check out my previous videos on my reaction to the white slave trade and also my reaction to the, the um, truth about the Britons ending slavery. And I think everything comes together quite well. And I like how she just tells the truth in the most simplest, unpolished form. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like, subscribe, comment. And if you missed my reaction to the white slave trade, because if you didn't know, of course, as mentioned in this video, white people were enslaved as well. If you want to get more detail on that, you can check out my link video, um, the link down below where I'm going to link the video to my reaction to the white slave trade and also my reaction to how Britain ends slavery in case you're wondering how exactly they ended slavery. In the meantime, thank you guys so much and have an awesome one. Bye.